guys, Gina here. I am going to run you through this layout I made in all, early August. I actually made it. I'm using the Echo Park Sweet Girl uh, collection kit, and I'm just going to run through it here and see what papers I want to use. I really want to challenge myself to use that floral background paper because I don't use florals a whole lot. Um, and it was a it was a pretty um, I thought it was pretty, and I'm going to cover most of it up anyway. I don't know what it is about me and florals. We just sometimes don't get along. So I went through, pardon me, I went through the collection pack and um, if you can look there in the upper right hand corner of your screen, I have this sassafras uh, felties called Jar of Critters and I never knew, I got it like at one of the sassafras warehouse sales and I never knew what I was going to do with it and I mean it has been in the giveaway pile, it's been back hanging on my, um, on my embellishment rack, I just wasn't sure but when I saw these photos of Sarah, and she's very perturbed because her brother wrote in her Doc McStuffins book, so she's quite unhappy. And I thought, um, when I was thinking about the title for this layout, and I was going to title it What's Bugging You, I thought, oh wow, I have those bugs. Uh, let me, you know, try to try to use those. So um, I'm trying to figure out here what I'm going to do to uh, how I'm going to set this layout up. I know I want to use that floral paper as my background. I'm going to mat the um, photos actually on the back of the border strips from that same Echo Park paper collection. So uh, there weren't the border strips weren't uh, something that I thought that I would use, so I didn't have any problem, uh, you know, cutting them up to use them, use this the opposite side of them for the mat for these photos. So going to use that and then I'm going to use this paper here. I believe that one is, oh, that's the background paper. That's the, it's called Flower Garden. And then that one there, I, yeah, that one there is called Quilt Blocks. And I'm very much, as if you look, I'm very much a B-side scrapper. I, I like the B-sides of the paper. So I think that's why I struggle with florals a little bit, but I'm going to cut this paper, this yellow paper here, down the size, and then I'm going to lay out my layout the way I want it. And as you can see, I'm going to ink the edges of all of these papers with Distress Ink and Vintage Photo. There's a warmness to the photos. Uh, these photos were taken at my sister-in-law and brother's house. And you can see their wood floors and their wood cabinets, and there's there's a very warm there's it's a very warm photos. So I thought the distress photo worked well uh, with the with the different colors in this layout. And now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put these bugs. So I'm going to cut them. Um, they're on that you know acetate sheet kind of that sort of see through backing paper, and I'm going to cut them all out and leave them on the backing paper so that I can sort of figure out how many I want to use and where I want to put them. And I thought at first that I would just run them down this, uh, run them along on this bottom and just make them sort of willy-nilly wherever. And they're eventually going to end up, like, coming out. The, the little worm there stays where he is because worms have to be, worms don't fly. At least, God, I hope not. Um, so the worm will actually go back to the bottom there. But I'm going to stagger the bugs as if they're coming out of that jar. So that they're kind of like flying out of that jar. And I thought since there was... Here's a big... Oh, heavens me. This... Me and this darn sewing machine. Um, I should have cut all of this out. Because it's it's just awful. And I think I do eventually just shut the camera off. Because it's such a pain. Um, I haven't quite figured out this whole sewing on layouts thing yet, but, uh, I tried because there's some, um, sewing on the bugs from this, that sassafras kit and on that jar. So I thought it will only be the plate, you know, on that jar, actually the bugs don't have any, uh, sewing stitching on them, just the jar. And I thought with the jar having stitching on it, I needed stitching somewhere else. What a disaster. So I'm pro I'm going to cut this off soon, I hope and save you from uh, me throwing things across the table. Ah, there we go. So, we're back, and all the sewing is on there. And you can't see it, and you don't want to see it anyway, because it's quite a mess. So, um, yeah. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. Um, it's fine. 
So I use some glue dots to the excessifras only put like a little small um, adhesive on the back of that jar, and I just wanted it to be down a little bit more uh, firmly than that. So I uh, just added a few glue dots behind it, and then I'm just arranging these bugs coming out of the jar the way I want. And some of them aren't sticking quite the way I want them to, but the little worm does stay at the bottom because that's where he belongs to me. So I'm cutting out, this is the 3x4 journaling cards from that same paper collection from um, Echo Park Sweet Girl. And I'm going to cut a few of these out. And I really like that one that says uh, the story of a girl. And I'm actually going to remember to ink the edges, which, you know, if you watch my videos, you know that doesn't always happen. And then I'm stuck trying to figure out how I'm going to ink them after I put them down on the paper. But that doesn't happen this time, so I'm happy. I'm going to use three, two of those 3x4 cards to create a little place for em other embellishments to lay up there and I really liked that uh, title that uh, the story of a girl it's kind of a subtitle because I'm off running looking for thickers now I think oh no uh, no I'm not I went to get some more of the sassafras these are sassafras what are these called the paper whimsies one set is from flower child and the other one is from razzle dazzle and I keep all my die cut collections in those little iris cases there so they're labeled on the outside to what they are, and then inside I, I also keep the, the actual packaging. So I'm actually going to remember, again, to ink the edges of these things. I'm just going to use two of these little cards from these paper whimsy collections. And I'm going to um, open up the um, other one that has some flowers in it. And I'm going to use, um, I actually used three cards from that. Right when Sassaf right before Sassafras was going out of business, they had a warehouse sale, and I um, purchased a box or two, and so I have a lot of this Sassafras stuff left. I'm pulling these particular flowers out because they have blue in them, and I really wanted. Um, there's a lot of blue in her in her photos, and there's a lot of blue in that background paper. It's a teal blue, so it's a little bit different blue that I'm using in the forefront of the of the layout. But I just needed to bring that blue out a little bit um, more, I thought. And now I'm looking through some other die cut uh, place, uh, other die cut um, collections that I own. And seeing if I want to use any of these. And I do use a few of them from the basic gray Hey Girl die cut shapes. I think only one. I think just for the date. But I'm going to run through and just look at the die cuts. Sometimes I'm very much into the, my die cuts and then other times. I'm going to paste that little worm down there. And there I went and I got some thickers. And these are, let's see, which thickers am I going to use? These are lullaby glitter letter stickers, and I'm going to use them to spell out the word bugging. And I'm actually going to start to use this uh, wax paper here, but I don't think I end up using... Maybe for the whole word bugging. Like I said, I made this layout in August, and it's October 31st now. Happy Halloween! Um, we don't do much for Halloween around here. No kids. And not, you know what's weird? Oh, so I'm just doing the, the title here. And the title is going to be, Hey Girl, What's Bugging You? And I'm just going to use a, a variety of different letter stickers here. I use the thickers for the word bugging. I'm going to use some October Afternoon Mini Market stickers. Uh, what else do I use? I use my, my, uh, my Mind's Eye Find Your Wings and Fly Alpha and Word stickers. Oh, they may just be... Yeah, what else? Uh, Doodlebug Teensy Type Bumblebee. I'm going to use some of those letters. The My Mind's Eye thing, I think I just use a phrase or something. I don't know. Anyway, do you know none of my family... You know I have these, I have these 11 kids, right? My nieces and nephews. And you know no one in my family would lend me their kids tonight. There's this big Halloween production going on at the local baseball stadium uh, that I live nearby. Like, it's five minutes away, Ripken Stadium. I live, like, five minutes from there. And they're having this huge Halloween thing. And I really wanted to go. But it's very geared towards kids. And so I didn't think it would... I thought it would be a little weird to go by myself without any kids. I mean, Stu's a kid, but he's a big kid, you know? So I was quite shocked that none of my sisters or brothers would lend me any of their children tonight. Next time they want to go out, just wait. Gina, can you watch it? No, I cannot. 
You didn't want to give them to me on Halloween. I don't want them on some random Saturday. I'm just teasing. But I said to Stu that we have to have kids just for this reason. You know? Anyway. So we're not doing much. And and we live at the top of a cul-de-sac. Um, it's at the top of a hill, and there's only like three houses up here, and none of the kids in the neighborhood come up. They don't ever. None of them walk up the hill to to come to our house. So we don't get a whole lot of trick or treaters. We're actually never. To be honest, we're 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 never really home. Um, this is the first year we're gonna be home for um, Halloween. So we're normally in in Long Beach Island, but. Um, yeah, so we didn't, we didn't, my my in-laws typically get a house down there, and we spend time down there with them, so we typically miss Halloween, because we're up there, but they didn't get the house this year, so we're home, but I'm still going to LBI this weekend, it's my birthday this weekend, so, and they have a restaurant up there, and they serve crab pie, and if you're not from around here, you do not understand how awesome that is. It's kind of like a pot pie, you know, but it's got crab instead of like chicken or turkey or something like that. So the the tradition is to go to LBI and um, have crab pie. So there you go. There's my little foray into nothing related to scrapbooking. Although you'll probably see the pictures uh, at some point. So I'm pulling out my Office Depot roller date stamp. I finished my journaling there just using a Sharpie like I normally do and I finished up my title. So nothing too exciting going on in this video. Um, I'm using some roller date stamps from Dear Lizzie. Is that a Dear Lizzie? No, that's an Amy Tangerine. I get them confused. That's from the Yes Please. Uh, that's a roller freeze stamp. And I am in love with these little matte puffy stickers. Um, and have been for a while. So I'm going to use them, a few of these. They're also from American Crafts. I'm going to use some of the flowers and some of the triangular sort of arrow looking things. I'm bringing that uh, floral design from the background up to the forefront of the layout so that it doesn't look like, I don't know, you know, the layout's stuck in a, I don't know, a rose bush or something. So anyway, that finishes up the layout for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or have any comments or anything like that, let me know below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good Halloween. Bye.